Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this short men's or boys haircut. You'll need hair cutting scissors, comb, spray bottle, number one guard, number two guard, clippers, and trimmers if you have it. If not, you can just use your clippers. Wet the top of the head with water to find the part. Comb the hair back and locate the part. If the hair is longer, you can push the hair at the back forward so the hair will fall on its natural split. Once you find it, comb the hair neatly in place, separating the top from the sides. In the back area, if you notice a strong cowlick, comb it the way it wants to lay. My client here has a counterclockwise cowlick and any hair that wants to comb down, I'll cut with my clippers. And the hair that combs up and lays nicely on the head, I'll cut with my shears later. Attach number one guard. You can increase the guard length to one and a half if you push the lever down and you'll see the blades extend. If your clippers don't have a lever, it's totally fine. Just use number one. When using clippers, start from the bottom moving in upward motion and scoop outwards a bit as you come up. It's best to leave the hair dry for clipper cutting. Blades just glide through easily and prevents it from rusting. On the side where the part is, I'm combing the top away so I don't accidentally cut it. You can use clips to keep it in place. I'm going to be cutting this side all the way to the part. On the other side, I'm placing this comb so you'll see the point where it leaves the head. This is where you stop cutting with your clippers. Here I'm just finishing cutting the cowlick. Resting the comb on the curve of the head. The area where the comb lays flat is where you blend. Attach number two guard. Use scooping motions and cut at the base of the curve of the head, gently working on blending. Remember to do scooping out motions so you don't cut too high or too much off. On top, I'm combing the front hair up and establishing the desired length where my client can see and approve. Using a vertical subsection, I'm using the previously cut hair in front as my guide. Doing both of these steps will ensure that you'll always have your guide and won't get lost or confused. Now back to doing horizontal subsections and just using the short hairs from the guide to cut.
Over here, I just like to cross check by doing vertical subsections again to make sure everything is even and I didn't miss anything. Also, combing the front down to make sure it's all the same length. On the blended side, combing the hair out and I'm cutting using the short hair at the bottom as my guide. Now I'm rounding the corners by combing the hair straight out of the curve of the head and cutting the hair using the short hair from the top and short hair on the side as my guide. This part is completely optional, and you'll need trimmers for this. If you're not comfortable doing a hard part, you can skip this step. But if you want to practice, let me show you. I like to use my comb to keep the long hairs out of the way, then gently pressing the blade on the part, doing short up and down movements, creating the same amount of pressure all throughout. I have my pinky finger as an anchor to the head to keep me stable. Cleaning up the perimeter. Like I said earlier, if you don't have trimmers, you can just use your clippers for this part. Just make sure to fold the ears if you're cutting around it so you don't cut your client. You can totally freehand this or use your comb as your guide. Moving on to the neck. My camera wasn't rolling when I filmed this part, so I'm just demonstrating how I did it. Don't forget to clean up the rest of the neck. This is just an added touch. For styling, texture, and all-day hold, I'm using this product on him. Emulsifying and applying it all over his hair and shaping it. There you have it. I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions and consider subscribing so it'll be easier for you to access this video and any upcoming ones. I'll see you on the next one.